Hey everybody, uh, <clears throat> before I open this can of worms, I really do mean it when I say Happy Memorial Day. Um, you know, it's uh, a lot of people gave the ultimate price over the course of the United States, and I, 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 I salute them wholeheartedly. Um, there's another issue. And this, this, this is not completely connected to, mem to Memorial Day because I think Memorial Day is mostly a day to, to honor, you know, a, a death. Um, but I get frustrated because we've done so many fucked up things um, in in the Middle East and across the world, and uh, you know, it's um. It, it, it needs to be talked about. And the issue is, I say, what about this or that? We can't prove, like, we... All the reasons why we went to the Middle East were bullshit. I mean, maybe you, you, I mean, you can make an exception for catching Osama, right? But we went after Saddam, after Afghanistan, after Osama attacked us. Well, with this plot and this men. That's the supposed story. I don't think we have enough answers. I don't think we could justify going to the Middle East um, most of the time. Like starting with Vietnam, and granted, those men were drafted mostly. You know, it, it's, it was not their fault. But what the fuck were we doing over there? You know, like, why did we go over there? We got, got our asses kicked all up and down. Well, it was maybe a bit of a stretch, but it was an uphill fight. They knew the land pretty well. It was their land. fact that we assume Vietnam is a threat for any reason is pretty ridiculous. Like, Vietnamese guys are tough, but I, I, I don't think they were going to... Like, what was Vietnam going to do to us back then? Why are we in the Middle East? Like I've said it again, why are we there? Why did we attack Iraq? And I ask these questions and military guys continue to justify they continue to justify the mass civilians that we've taken they continue to justify they keep making fucking excuses the things I've heard about the military and I don't like I've heard from other military guys that's all like you, I can post the video just look up um, military guy throws metals into crowd and he'll tell stories of all the fucked up shit that they did over there and he's not the only one with these stories do we even know why we're there the politicians gonna tell us or is it their business not the combatants business you know it's uh, until we're really ready to ask these questions together I gotta pick my fucking side like and they're, they they don't seem like they're leaving the Middle East like I'll believe it when I see it but like we're still there like I'm an Arab I can't I can't fuck with this like I, like we 
The fact that we went to Iraq shortly after 9-11 makes the whole thing fishy. <clears throat> what, like, did we, like, it just makes it look like an inside job. I'm not saying it, it is an inside job, but if you want people to assume it's an inside job, uh, you know, just do, you know, have something like 9-11 happen and then go to the wrong country then it'll look set up. It'll look like you have, like you wanted a reason. Cause like, so Dom was a motherfucker, but he was ours, you know, he was our motherfucker. And he, you know, he, they, I, I can't, I don't know all the details, but it, it seems like everybody I talk to that's read up on this and I, Everything I learn, I forget. So maybe even I read up on it and it's gone now. But it seemed like it, you know, he didn't have widespread terrorism throughout Iraq, like a lot of the Middle East. Like he maintained respect. And then we moved in. And uh, it's not better after democracy. It's not. So, what are we doing? Why are we there? What's the point? What's the point? Why are we in the Middle East? I think we need good, honest military men to be asking these real questions. Because until we do, like we're just going to keep going over there, and I, I don't, I don't think we have a good reason. And. An excuse that I hear a lot is, well, they're defending your country. Are they? Who is it? Is our is it that common for for us to be attacked on our own soil? Like at least from the people that we're going after. What if we're generating more terrorism? Blow up someone's whole whole fucking house. If they're the one person that survives, and, if they, and especially if it was a complete wrong target. You know, you got yourself some terrorists. You created some terrorists. So I think that even if you read, no matter how much you read up on the conflict in Syria, it's confusing. It's a million different factions all fighting each other. You know, it's, it's a big spider web. Uh, we can't, getting involved in all that. Like, what are you gonna take a side? <coughs> I mean, I know we're just invading other countries for resources, oil and rare earth minerals. That, you know, duh. But, I don't know, man. We need to get out of the Middle East. I think we need to stop this. I think it's time to move on. Like, I think we need to form relationships with militaries in various countries that have like similar interests but I think we need to have a hands off approach I think we need to have a hands off approach to all this at least until you know like we have a real reason to cause I'm you know, I'm not like some kind of pacifist or anything like that, not even close. Uh, if someone, if another foreign leader says, we're gonna fuck you up, I don't think it's escalating to attack them first. You know, that's just smart. You know, that, that just means you're gonna start pummeling the shit out of them before they start pummeling the shit out of you. Um, like if you think they're gonna do it, that is. Um, but I don't, I think that's how it goes with us. I, I think we just march in and take people's shit, and a lot of civilians die in the meantime. I, I'm not saying there's not bad people over in every country that need to be put away, put in the ground. Um, Saudi Arabia, man, they're they're real corrupt. Their their government is at least. But we're not blunt. We're not giving them a hard time for decapitating people in the street for wearing silk on a Friday. Yeah, I know I'm exaggerating, but I'm 
you know, the, the silly laws that you can get executed for breaking. Being out here at night makes me a little paranoid. shit that we, I'm high, I'm just zoning out now, I'm not gonna lie, but the, the, I don't know, I forgot where I was going with this, and not, to be honest, I had a lot of good things to say, and then I sat out in the sun all day, and got too hot, and smoked too much weed, and now I don't know what the fuck to say, and I'm, I'm worn the fuck out, but I do <clears throat> have respect for Memorial Day. I think we got a pizza man looking for our house. Maybe not. Um, I do have respect for Memorial Day and, and the majority of these military holidays, but it it cuts into the amount of respect I can muster when I just want to ask the question: Why? Why? Did we invade Iraq? What, what does that have to do with 9-11? And does that make what the government said about 9-11 valid? I think that, um... God, am I really just... Oh, it's just my glasses. Uh... Oh, fuck, where was I going with that? Like, what... If, if, what, if what we did immediately after 9-11 didn't make any sense, does that mean the government was lying to us about the whole thing? Because that's why these conspiracy theorists exist. We need the government to tell us the truth. That's all it is. But... Like, the government tells us a bunch of shit that we prove to be incorrect. And then we continue to support our involvement in the Middle East or any country. Like after, uh, man, after 9-11, we really should have had enough. We really shouldn't have said enough is enough is enough. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sorry, after Iraq and, and the fact that, that didn't make any goddamn sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to be proven wrong. Um, I don't believe that the purpose of the military is to defend the United States. I think the purpose of the military is to take resources and create terrorists. Because you piss someone off, they'll be your terrorist. You know, it doesn't matter what the politics are. I'm not some kind of anti-American terrorist, etc., but I don't, I don't have faith in our government. I don't really blame the military guys for going to the Middle East because they're just doing their job. But I'm tired of justification. I'm tired of people justifying what we do over there. I mean, it's never been a good reason to me. It's never been a good fact-based reason. Our involvement over there doesn't make sense. some apologies when I get some some real conversation about this not not defending they're defending your country have some respect because if it was World War II time I would feel different about that but I think that's the last time Vietnam didn't make any sense I think you know Korea is different because we were I think you know we were 
allied South Korea and we had to help them. I think it's a little different, but I mean, maybe someone will feel different about that too. But um, I think after Korea, man, are, are the, the military minds at the top, I don't know if you call them the generals or whatever, the people that think we need to be invading countries, I don't think they're, I, I don't think they're all there up, uh, upstairs. I think they're corrupt. I think they want, they just want cash. They want all the money. They want all the resources. And I get it, like we need oil, otherwise oil, the price of gas goes through the roof. We need to sort that out. But I'm, I'm just, I want a reason to be proud of our military these days. But I can't, I, I, I gotta, I can't be an Arab, an honest, good, you know, defending, honest people kind of Arab. I can't be that without, I, I can't support what the, the, the generals or the, the president, what the, what the guys at the top are sending our, our our boys and girls to do, young men and women, well, all kinds of men and women to do. Like, I don't, I can't support that. Like, I, we need to leave. Like, we need to get the fuck out the Middle East or get come up with a real reason to be there that the American people can believe in. But I don't, the American, they haven't said, I'm not saying you're gonna, I'm not saying to expose our master plan, but... just seems like we're pissing people off and taking out extra civilians on accident. You know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna go into whether or not people join the military to do fucked up shit and try to get away with it. That's not something I've researched enough. That's not a path I've ever really gone down. That's not an argument that I've made because I feel like civilians die and I treat it like an accident, but I think that our involvement over there is not an accident. I think it, it needs to end. And I want to have respect for, you know, they keep, I keep talking to military guys, they keep defending it. They're defending us being there. And I uh, can't. It's a net negative. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Anyway. I'm not trying to stir people up. I just need to be honest. I need to be honest with the people of the internet. Um, I'm willing to have an honest conversation, but I can't. I, I, I can't say this without being a little rough. You know, it's just how it is. Like I'm not trying to be rough. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to be cold. I feel bad saying happy Memorial Day after that whole rant, but uh, I want some answers, damn it, you know? There's not a lot, there's no Memorial Day for all the civilians that have died in the Middle East. You know, the, the, the sun, this BS war that we've been in for 50 years, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a little bit, but been involved in the Middle East since since the 90s, and uh, I don't know, we need to leave. Out of rant.